Hi there. In the previous video, we saw how to add SKUs to the Printro SQ library individually. Now, in this video, we are going to see how to add SKUs in bulk. So basically, in the previous video, we added an SKU for a white small t-shirt. We are now going to add the same design for the other sizes, which is basically medium, large, XL, and so on. So first, we have to go to add SKUs, click on bulk, and download the sample Excel format. I'm going to save this and open this in Excel. So you see a couple of columns here. So basically, if you want to upload SKUs for anything other than T-shirts, you need only these three columns. So you have to tell the product name, the design code, and the product SKU. And only for T-shirts, you have to give certain additional information, such as the width that you want, the design X and design Y, which we saw in the last video, right? And uh, we will see, we'll be looking at it again. And design width is basically, uh, you assign the width for the design that you're going to upload and the height is calculated proportionally, right? So let's start. I'm going to go to options sheet and uh, get my white t-shirt. Just do a quick search for white, white mark, yeah. So I'm going to select white, large, medium, excellent, double excellent, right? One, two, three, four, five, yes. Let's copy this paste it here we don't need a small so i'm going to remove this whenever you remove any any uh, row please make sure you remove the entire row so you have to delete this right and make sure you do not enter anything below this so i'm just going to select everything and do a control minus so just to be on the safer side right now in the design code in the previous video we saw our design code was pt 002. I'm just going to copy this and paste it here. Paste the text and duplicate it. Right. So in the SKU name, I'm just going to follow the same naming convention. But here, you know, just to make things faster, I'm going to use concatenate feature. I'm going to concatenate this. Add a double dash followed by this. So this is a faster way of doing things. You know. So we have the unique SKU names, right? Now the design width, if you remember in the last video, let me open the single add SKU uh, page and let's go ahead and select that particular, all right. So it was a white small, right? White small. I'm gonna go ahead and upload the same design. It was seven inches aligned and at the top. Right, so the high width is seven inches. So the 2.56 will be automatically calculated when you upload it. So I'm gonna enter seven here. And the design X and Y, I'm just gonna click on this. So the design X is 1050 and Y is zero. Let me just quickly duplicate it for all. Because we'll be using the same canvas, we are going to duplicate these values, the design width, design X and design Y for all the variants of the size. You know, if you want to change for a particular t-shirt size, you can go ahead and do that. That is absolutely not a problem. So uh, in this video, I'm just going to uh, go ahead and keep it same. Let me just save this. I'm going to save as my desktop. Yeah, I'm going to save it. Uh, PT1002 white. Just any name. Let's go back to our um, auction panel, click on bulk, choose files. I'm going to select this file. Right. Uh, now I'm going to click on submit. So after you click on submit, you know, it depending on the number of uh, SKUs that you've added, it takes some amount of time. So since there are only four SKUs, um, it, it hasn't taken that much time. Right. So you don't have to go ahead and check anything, but if you want, you know, these SKUs, they're already loaded. So we'll just click on one of the designs. And you can see that the design is, 
you know sized properly and it's positioned automatically you can even edit this sku if you want change the width and the positioning if you want uh, but we'll, we're just going to close this we don't do any do any changes so now i'm going to click on confirm and you get a message here product sq saved successfully and that's it we've added four sqs using excel and that was super fast so this is especially very helpful when you have thousands of products on your shopify or a woocommerce store and you want to add all those sqs to you know quicken the entire process of creating orders and uh, pulling orders from your store so this is a very very easy and you know helpful feature that we've added and uh, hopefully you like it um, thank you so much for watching